Zodiac Killer in Northern California has never been caught. I thought for a while that my friend Gary could be the Zodiac Killer. I could see Gary killing a few people. But I found out that the Zodiac Killer killed roughly 37 people. Gary would never kill that many people. He's too lazy. And I found out the Zodiac Killer sent 300 symbol ciphers to the police to decode, to find out his whereabouts, and to give information. I knew then that Gary could no longer be a person of interest, because Gary can't even do a crossword puzzle. Three down, it said it makes honey, and he said a moth. He has trouble with Hangman, and we watched Wheel of Fortune together one time and had this clue appear. Gary looked at me and said, I want to buy a vowel. He's not the Zodiac Killer. I forgot to get milk at the store. But you went to the store to get milk. I know, I know, I forgot to get it. What did you think you were there for? I was going to get milk, but I didn't get it. I got butter instead. Why would you get butter if you went for milk? We needed salted butter and we had unsalted. But we needed milk. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Stop. We have to talk one at a time. We can't hear anybody this way. So I'll talk first, then Madison, and then Granny. It'll be your turn. Okay. Okay. So what I was trying to tell you guys was I've been looking for this special flour to make homemade pasta, and I found it today. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Now oh, I witnessed a murder today. Granny, it is Madison's turn. So, I planted this cactus in January, and I was a little bit nervous because, you oh, know, yeah. planting it during the winter month, I'm a little bit oh, scared, yeah. right? But it was looking a little wilted, but it's fine now. Really? How tall is it now? Is it growing a lot? Okay, cool. A follow-up question for the cactus. When I witnessed a murder. No, go ahead. from the last time you know I was probably a little bit abrasive with your big head and I just think it overcame me so I wanted to give you a second chance for a possible date well I'm glad we're doing this oh wow well, that's that's a nice accent I've noticed an accent where are you originally from I was born on Big Head Island you make this difficult you really do I noticed you're starting to sweat a bit. That's an attractive quality. Look at this sweat just coming right off you there. My God. Why are you starting to warp my floor? It's a lot of sweat coming out there. I don't even know if I have flood insurance. Are you noticing it or just me? <laughs> my goodness. You should have windshield wipers on that forehead. You keep sweating like that, you're going to drown. You want a floaty? You could never be a criminal. You would leave way too much DNA. Police would go in there looking for blood splatter. They'd find sweat splatter. He wiped his brow over here and he wiped his brow over here. Crime lab comes in with a cotton swab to try and get some DNA. They'd have to go back out to the truck and get a sump pump. It's not a deal breaker. I'll get my umbrella, we can go. So what? You, you can't spell your name backwards. Who has to spell their name backwards? That's ridiculous. <laughs> How often does that happen? Tell me a little bit more about you. Uh, it, I, 
You stutter too? Great. That's great.